Coach Matt here. We're, we're talking about a, a high chest lock gut wrench. Uh, we're going to start here from parterre position, putting the weight on the guy, pressuring him down, sliding that hand under. Here's one of the key components is I'm going to get my entire body over the top of his. I don't. I want my weight on my opponent. And my hands, as he's trying to move and pressure, I can keep these hands locked out in front. And then I'm going to use my chest to roll into that lock. And one more time, I'm just going to roll into that lock. Okay, and then my shoulder. Before I start moving my feet, I just create that pressure, pressure, pressure. And see, I'm starting to break my opponent on the legs. Hit my gut wrench. I'm going to have Dylan show it here. Get that lock. Shift. Shift that weight back. So now I can run him right over the top of that. Stop your opponent's movement. Create pressure by shifting your weight horizontally. And drive your legs forward. Dylan gets his lock, shifts his weight backwards, starts driving the legs, good forward pressure, runs the guy right over the top of his shoulder. Let's see it again. Breaks him down, drives him through. Good shift. Powerful drive. That one looked great. This high chest lock, I've shifted my weight. No one starts to counter. I show them that I'm going the other way, and then I just increase that pressure. I'm not moving my entire body. I'm ready to go left in whatever direction you're going. I change by releasing that pressure. As soon as he releases, I put the shoulder back on, start running my legs, finish the gut wrench. Good lock there. Dylan starts driving. Releases the pressure, and comes back to the same side. Can kind of force that one, but that will work as well. This is a good angle. You can really see how he releases the pressure. Here it is again. No one lets off. Dylan comes right back. I can stop this. I'll change direction. Notice my chest is just going to go from this direction. I'm going to change the angle. Really pick up on that. So he's defending. I'm just going to run him right over that post right there. And instead of running my legs, the mistake a lot of guys make, because you'll get bring that hip back, I let that pressure off, that hip comes back. I just fall off like a tilt. Run him over that post, tilt him up. There's my gut. Good drive showing him right, goes left, over the top of that elbow, catches him on the elbow on the mat. There it is again. It runs him over, a little more forward pressure even. Here's a new angle. Drives, switches direction. This one he's going to release and come back same side. Release, and now he's going to drive him over that shoulder. All these gut wrenches are setting me up to where I can enter my left. All right, same gut wrench here. I'm shifting that weight and I'm pressure. I'm going to my main side, and uh, Nolan starts defending this by getting his hips up in the air. And this is going to stop that gut wrench. He's strong here. He's built himself with strength. So I'm going to show him that gut wrench even harder. I'm going to go even harder. I'm going to double down on it. As I'm doing that, I'm adjusting my feet. The lock slides to the hips. I bring him up and I sit. And then I've got control to finish that guy. The key is he never recognizes that I've gone to a left. He really starts to defend this hard by raising his hips. So when I'm pressuring here, I increase that pressure. As my legs come up, the lock slides to the hips. I bring him up, keep my body attached to him. Good. Dylan gets his lock as no one's pressuring, getting his hips up. Got a nice base, good footwork and pressure. 
that right leg was a little wide there. He was a little unbalanced. He's going to do it again. He's going to make that same mistake here. See how he re-steps it to get his balance? Does a nice adjustment. This one's probably going to be his best one here. Much more balanced. This one, Nolan will take him out. He's going to fall with his chest right on top of him. Go back to his left. Fall. There's the pressure. Feet adjust again. Gets the lift the second time. This is what's great about that. If I have the gut both directions, I have the lift. Usually I can get a combination score, which is going to net me six points. So I'm going to start with my lock. I'm going to roll into that. Hit my gut. As we're gutting, I'm going to show him the second gut. He defends as I'm moving my feet. There's the lift. There's the finish. 2001 semifinals world championships. 25 seconds left in the match. First chance on top. You can see everything we've been talking about. There's the good pressure. Menchnikov pulls me out there. Reapply the chest pressure. Reset the lift. And head into the finals of the world championships in 2001. Here it is one more time. Nice pull. Good hip extension on the way through. And finally in full speed one more time.